Hello, this is Andrew Grease from Quality Equipment and Spray, QSpray.com, your spray equipment experts. Today I'm going to talk about your power sprayer, specifically some of the issues we see with hose reels and hose reel swivels on power sprayers. This is a common area of, of problems, and I thought I'd share them to, so that perhaps you could avoid some of these problems. The most common problem we see is, is too much stuff hanging off the swivel. As you can see in this photo, there's quite a bit of plumbing hanging off the swivel, and that's a bad idea. Um, the swivel contains a couple of rubber O-rings. Here's an example. These two brown O-rings on the left are from a Cox hose reel swivel. And if you have too much stuff hanging off the swivel, it adds, it puts weight and torque and extra wear and tear on these O-rings, and they'll wear out faster, and your hose reel swivel will start to leak sooner. And that, you know, the hose reel swivel is kind of the, the, the point where your reel is going to leak first. It's absolutely going to leak, and so we think, why create situations that's going to cause it to leak sooner. Here's another one with a uh, pressure gauge hanging off the swivel. Um, you know, again, you don't want extra weight on the swivel. We have done this on occasion when the customer insists on it, but we really prefer to put something like a pressure gauge somewhere else on the sprayer so that it doesn't add that extra weight to the swivel and reduce swivel life. Here's another example. This is, a, this is as elaborate as I've ever seen. You can see in the center here, not only do they have a bunch of plumbing coming off the swivel, including a a uh, ball valve to turn the agitation off and on and every time you turn that valve you're going to reduce the life of those swivels but there's tons of stuff hanging off here they got plumbing they got the the hose i'm sorry the spray gun locked on here and this just seems like it's it's a problem you hit a couple of good bumps and who knows what kind of damage you're going to do to this there's just too much stuff hanging off of this thing Here's a, a different situation, but uh, one that we found quite amusing. This was a sprayer one of our competitors built, and the frame is so tight around the hose reel swivel that it's impossible to repair this swivel without pulling the entire sprayer out of the truck and removing the hose reel. So what should be a five-minute job becomes a two- or three- or four-hour job because you can't get to this hose reel to repair the swivel. Just a really bad idea. Here's another problem. All swivel manufacturers suggest that when you plumb the swivel that there be some slack in the hose feeding the swivel so that the swivel can actually rotate freely. If the swivel can't rotate freely, you're going to again put more wear and tear on those O-rings and reduce the life of the swivel. And you can see in this photo, the feeder hose to the swivel is just way too tight and that's bad design, bad construction, and it's going to cause, to, cause more problems. So those are some of the problems we see from design. Here's a problem we see in operation and you can see here the tech rather than actually repair the swivel wrapped a bunch of towels and cloths around it to try to get an extra you know time out of it so instead of spending twelve thirteen dollars on a swivel kit they're living with this kind of leak and exposure to chemicals really bad idea keep some some spare parts on on hand so you can repair your swivel the swivel is going to leak it's just a question of when Keep the uh, swivel kits on hand so that you, you're down for five minutes, you're not down for a day, and you're not spilling chemicals. So in summary, here's some recommendations. Before you buy a power sprayer, plan what it's going to be like. Think about using it and maintaining it. Is it going to be easy to use, easy to maintain? Make sure you know what you're getting. In some of these examples, I'm sure these customers bought these sprayers without realizing that they had some design issues. You've heard me say this before. Train and retrain your technicians. Don't let them live with problems. Teach them how things work so they know to report problems and not live with leaks. Keep common repair parts on hand. We talked about that, for example, the hose reel swivel kit. Keep that on hand because you know you're going to need it. Do your preventative maintenance regularly so that you're down when you want to be down. You're not down at your busy season. And lastly, do inspections so that if there is an issue, you can find it and deal with it rather than let it get worse and cost you more money. Thanks so much for watching. Please keep Q-Spray in mind when you need hose reel swivels, hose reel swivel repair kits, or any other power spray equipment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.